Hello Taurus and welcome to my channel Green Line Goddess. This is your weekly love reading. So it is a general reading. It's about any kind of connection and it may or may not resonate with you. If it if it doesn't, you might like to check out some of the other readings on the channel because these are not time specific. So there might be something else for you or you might like to check out your moon and rising signs as well. Uh, the placements can be reversed. I usually pick one storyline and go with that. So it, like I said, it's general, so it may or may not resonate. And I will also put a timestamp at the bottom, Taurus, if you want to kind of bypass this usual spiel. But let's get straight into it, shall we? Let's get straight into it. I just feel like I want to get straight to the energies, Taurus. So what can we get for Taurus for this week? What connection is coming up? And it's interesting what connections are coming up for you because it always mirrors kind of what's going on for you on a deeper level. So what can we get for Taurus? Fire Ant and Hyena Reversed. Okay, intriguing. This is an intriguing little connection here, Taurus. Just going to move these cards around and have a look at these. So hyena and fire ant are usually both fire energies, but hyena's reversed, so it's kind of tipped itself upside down into a water energy. I feel like you're the hyena reversed in this situation, Taurus, but like I said, you can reverse the placements. So... I feel like, you know, the person that you're connecting with and dealing with here with the fire ant energy is someone that could be a little bit stressed. They're stressed with dealing with the collective energy here. It's something that's really, uh, you can see that they're, it's hurting them or they're, they're, there's some kind of pain here. You know, they're being stung by this fire ant energy. It could be burnout. It could be uh, just finding it stressful to be amongst this collective energy. It could be working with a, in a group. But there's a lot of pressure and stress that you can see with this person. And normally you might want to say something to them like, you know, what is it that you're doing? Give them some kind of advice. But I feel like at this point the hyena is biting its tongue it's kind of normally the hyena flipped up will have a lot to say. It will let you know in no uncertain terms how it's feeling about you and your behavior and what it's doing. I feel like you're just seeing someone, a situation's harming somebody else. It's You can feel it's hurting them, uh, but also you're not feeling any need to uh, say anything or intervene because you kind of can see that they have to be in this situation for whatever reason. So this could be a work situation that they're needing to be. This could be a frontline health worker for all we know. This is kind of the imagery that I'm getting as someone that you know is going in and working with this stress with the collective and you're just like, I can't be saying to you not to do that because I can see that you kind of need to do that. But at the same time, I can see that it's causing you a lot of pain. So you're sticking with your light side. The hyena's got two sides. It's got the dark and the light. And you're sticking with the light side of the moon. You're like, I'm going to remain positive. I'm not going to, I'm going to bite my tongue. So because you want, you might want to be saying to them, you need a break. You need this. You need that. This, you're working too hard. You're working too long hours or whatever it is that, you know, you're getting stressed out about what other people are thinking with this collective energy that you're struggling with, whatever it is. But you kind of know they just have to do their thing. So let's pull some, let's pull some cards here as clarifiers, Taurus. Let's pull some cards Okay, we have the Ten of Swords, the King of Pentacles, there you are, turning up, and the Emperor. Okay, these are the cards for you, Taurus. Let's pull some cards for them. Okay. 
It's kind of like it's not my place to be saying anything is how you're feeling. They've got the Three of Swords, the Knight of Wands and the Three of Pentacles. Okay, so they're surrounded by two threes. You've got a lot of stability, but both of you have in the recent past had an ending that has caused a lot of pain or heartache here with that Ten of Swords and they've got the Three of Swords. So... There's been something has caused a situation that has caused a painful ending and that's why I feel like they're bringing this pain into them whenever they're connecting with other people or into their work or whatever it is. It's making life a lot harder for them. Um, but, you know, you've just managed to get back to yourself pretty quickly. There you are, the King of Pentacles, and then stepping into that Emperor energy, which is also an Aries energy, but a very strong solidity you've just kind of gone from strength to strength okay okay i've seen this ending i've seen how this has affected me i've been able to move on um quite quickly from it the ten of swords the darkness is rising the sun the darkness is leaving and the sun is rising so there is hope there is the ability so you've kind of managed to quite quickly assimilate this change this ending into your life and regain some stability regain some sense of order regain some sense of uh, feeling that it, it's an ordered universe that you're supported and that you are in control of your life for them they have they're surrounded by two threes, which is the cards of manifestation and that the Knight of Wands is desperately trying to manifest something. They have the three of swords energy there, which they're kind of, again, you know, I feel like they're working really hard with that three of pentacles energy. They're receiving some kind of recognition. There's some kind of success here, but they're also heading straight towards pain. Yeah, heartache. Uh, towards, like I said, some kind of burnout or something. They're heading towards that three of swords energy. So I feel like, yeah, they're either working, they're putting too much energy into something and it, it's going to cause a point where they're just going to have to stop. It's going to pour, cause too much pain for them. But, yeah, they're definitely heading towards that. Uh, so, yeah, it's like almost, you know, those people that, there is something underlying and they just work really hard and don't want to have to think about it or they're, you know, like I said, they're maybe feeling like they have to give, 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 give too much. They need this success. They need results. And it it is going to, yeah, it's not going to end in a particularly happy way for them. It's going to cause them some heartache, like I said. So let's pull a card for this this connection of yours from the universe, we have ideal course of action, the three and the seven, and that equals a 10, which breaks down to a one. So I, I feel like this is you. I feel like there is separation between the two of you here. You're kind of seeing that it's, it's hard to see somebody careening, careening towards you know it's not going to end well for them. It's hard to see them heading towards that. But at the same time, that is the right, you need to kind of step back at this moment in time. Ideal course of action. You can see this woman's looking at this from a distance. The castle and the foundations and the things that are happening in the distance here. So there is a sense of you need to just keep your distance from it at the moment. I don't know why, but I'm just getting... Yeah, it's it's, you know, it's sort of like this person needs to run their course. It's probably their own, it's something they need to be doing. Let's get a message from the angels about this. Let's get a message from the angels. What do you want to say to Taurus about this connection? We have romance. Okay, well, that's intriguing. This could be all around a romantic connection that you have with this person. This could be you're seeing them jumping into a romance that you can see is not going to end well. This could be a romance between the two of you. So there is a romance here at the centre of this is all I'm getting. Uh, there's a romance that 
Yeah. I feel like it's more involved with your person than necessarily with you. But you may have actually have some kind of feelings for them as well. Or you're just seeing them careening out of control back to the old heartache again. I don't know, so, Taurus. But yeah, there's definitely romance at the heart of this. So I'm going to pull out some cards. Oh, here we have the Two of Cups. Some cards for the outcome for this. So we have the Love card coming out. So we have the Love card, we have the Knight of Swords and we have the Chariot. So, okay, I feel like here comes the stability here with you. Here comes the Chariot energy coming in. Going, I'm going to bring, um, I'm, I am going to come in and help you here. And with that comes this really fast energy towards a love connection. There's a reconnection here. There's a sense of, you know, this person is, I feel like you're just steering them like their course of action if left up to them is that knight of wands heading to the three of swords it's a knight heading towards heartache this is a knight heading towards love so you're veering them into a new direction here with the chariot energy i really feel like you are this energy here so at some point i think that you are going to you are going to feel like you need to step in and go okay i'm just going to help you kind of get to the right place where you're going to be feeling that love, you're going to be feeling that connection as opposed to <clears throat> the heartache and the pain that I can see you're heading straight for. And so, yeah, there is this nurturing energy donning the armour, okay, I'm going to go in and fight for this person and help them. So conflicts ending in victory with the chariot card. So, yeah, I feel like it, it's going to have a positive resolution, luckily, because I feel like they were careering towards this wrong direction of pain. And I feel like, yes, you're able to steer them onto the right path, which is really positive, Taurus. So I hope that resonates for some of you. If you'd like to hear more, please like, subscribe or leave a comment. Please take care. I'll talk to you next time, Taurus. Bye.